All right, we're about to get deep tonight. I hope you're ready. So, um, when I shoot these videos, it's usually late at night. Right now, it's almost 10 o'clock p.m. here in New Jersey. And uh, it allows me to have a bunch of quiet time, which isn't necessarily a good thing because it lets my mind wander. Uh, but this is the time that I take to catch up on some work, shoot these videos, post them up, um, write workout programs. If you guys don't know, I'm a strength and conditioning coach who helps men um, build, a, build themselves up uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Based on my life experience, and you know, I've been through a lot, and, and based on you know what I've gathered uh, from from strength training and lifting weights, uh, but we'll talk about that more in another video. So when my wine wanders late at night, you know, I try and keep occupied, but it doesn't always work. Um, I tend to start thinking about stuff. I think about the past a lot. And a lot of the things I've been through, I'm going to be 37 in a few days. Uh, but I think a lot of the things that I've been through the last 36 years. And like anything else in life, there's peaks and valleys. There's really, really bright, sunny days and there's really, really dark, stormy days. And that's just how it goes, right? And when I have this quiet time and I start thinking and my mind starts wandering and, and I got to do something to calm it down, I've been reaching for a book. Now, I don't know if you've heard of this book. It's pretty popular. Um, it's been around for a little while. Uh, I'll just show it to you. It is the Bible. Now, I'm not... Growing up, I was never the most religious person. Uh, but I've been flipping through this. Um, I can't say that I'm looking for answers, but I'm just looking to live life a little better. And when I flip through the Bible, I don't really have any expectation. I'm not searching for something. I'm not searching for anything specific. But what I do is I read a passage here and there, read a page here and there, uh, and, I, and I just look to see if something's going to jump out at me. And as I was flipping through tonight, I came across a verse that literally leaped off the page. I'll just read it to you and then we'll, we'll kind of address it and dive a little deeper into it. So it's in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. I read it again. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Now, you can interpret that any way you want. I'm going to tell you how I interpret it. You might be going through something right now. Like I said before, peaks and valleys. Sunny days and stormy days. It's all part of life. And we live in a world of instant gratification. We want results. And we want answers, and we want the pain and the, and the discomfort to stop now. We want it to stop like yesterday. We sometimes can't bear the idea of having to deal with another day of whatever this burden is. And it could be anything. And maybe you're not going through something right now, but maybe you know something's coming. Sometimes we go through things and we can see them coming a mile away and we don't know what the hell we're going to do. Well, I'm here to tell you, based on this verse, that as long as you can tread water and as long as you can breathe and just keep your head above the surface, you're going to be okay. And I don't tell you this to preach because I'm the furthest thing from a preacher. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you this from life experience. See, instant gratification is such a tough thing to get away from. But we have to remember that 
timing is everything. And it doesn't have to do with our timing or what or when we want things to go our way or the pain to stop. But it has to do with God's timing. It's like it's almost out of your hands. So there might be a day where you want to give up. There might be a day where maybe you don't want to get out of bed because you're just not feeling it and you just can't seem to hang on another day. But at some point, as long as you're treading water and you keep the faith, God's hand's going to grab you by the collar, pull you out of those stormy waters and put you in the boat. So instead of giving up, give it up. Give it up to the man. It works. And like I said before, I'm not, I, growing up, I was not the most religious person. I grew up Catholic. I was an altar boy. Um, but, uh, you know, I think as we get older and as we have kids and we go through life experiences, there is, there's a different meaning to the stuff in here, right? Because now we have experienced pain, we've experienced discomfort, we've experienced disappointment. <laughs> and um, you just got to keep the faith. You just got to keep the faith. Let me read it to you one more time. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So there's, a, ma there's a, a method to the madness. There's a reason why God's making you wait. And looking back at my personal life experiences, stuff always tends to work out. And you may not see it right at that very moment. I can, I can think of quite a few times where something got really fucked up and something got really, you know, I'm just thinking about it like, what? did I do or why did this happen and it wasn't until later I looked back and I connected the dots and it was supposed to happen that way think about that I guarantee you that if you look back and you try and connect the dots you can see that everything is connected it's not by chance it's not by chance so my message to you tonight is to just tread water for one more day. And then once you get through that day, you tread water for one more day. At some point, you'll be in that boat. But not until he thinks you're ready. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting more stuff on this channel about the stuff in this book. And I'm going to talk about it in real talk. Like I said, I'm not a minister. I'm not a preacher. I'm just a guy just looking to do a little better. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there watching this video that can relate. So subscribe to this channel. If you want to see all of my videos, um, feel free to go to AmericanBullyTV.co and that will take you to my main Rumble page where you can see all of my videos. But I talk about everything from physical strength to mental strength to emotional strength to dad life. Everything that's going to help you live life a little better. All right, thanks for spending some time with me tonight, and we'll talk soon.